The Packet Pushers went to AutoCon Zero in November 2023 and asked 10 IT professionals, what's holding back the industry from progressing on network automation? Ansible. <laughs> That's my hot take. But I, I would say, um, again, I think it's a lack of view into life cycle across a service you're trying to offer. Um, thinking about things as just how do I get this config onto this box is a very good small first step, but I think it's actually a small part of the entire thing. And so actually understanding the life cycle of a service from all the way at the beginning to all the way when you tear it down is what I believe gets missed quite a bit. I think standards. I think, and, and, and I've heard it mentioned before from talking with other people as well as, you know, that interoperability, trying to interact and work with, you know, different systems, different vendors. Um, I know of very few places that are all one single vendor shop anymore, uh, at least for the larger companies, uh, smaller companies, maybe not so much, but, um, and trying to get an automation platform or an automation tooling or custom software built in order to actually do the automation tasking that you want it to do uh, when you're playing with five different vendors can be incredibly difficult. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a tough question. It, it is interesting if we, if we flip that around is, so why has automation worked so well in cloud and, and systems, right? Uh, you know, it seems like those teams unify and confirm, conform to maybe all choosing Kubernetes, for example. So on the network space, we're not really conformed and going in, in one direction. It seems like everybody kind of just picks and chooses their own their own way. So I think what we need as an industry is to um, is to to pick a stack and let's go with it. The industry is holding itself back from progressing. There are a lot of <clears throat> well experienced people that do not want to see change because it could impact their position. And even if it's a world where they get to move on and solve other problems, they don't necessarily want to see that happen. So I would think that the industry itself does not have the momentum within itself to bring about true network automation. I believe it's a combination. I believe you have some vendors who uh, are really restrictive about their information on their devices. I think you have a lot of individuals who really don't want to embrace the opportunity in automation. They want to do it the way it's been done. So it's not any one facet, it's multifaceted. I think there are wildly disparate user populations. There are organizations all over the adoption curve. I do a lot of cycling and it's easy for me to talk about how much easier it is to ride in a large group. But when you get strung out, it's very difficult to go as fast. And if we could get the laggers further along that adoption curve, we've got a bigger user mass to push vendors in a particular direction. Not that everyone needs to be a leader, but if you can get closer to the pack, the pack as a whole can go faster. Fear, 100% fear. Fear of doing it wrong, it's fear of breaking the network, it's um, fear of, of looking bad in front of your peers, it's just fear. And I think we've got to get past fear in order to really drive this, this industry forward. Yeah, I don't know if I want to blame the whole industry. Uh, you know, people have been doing th these things a long time. I literally configured my first router 30 years ago, and so and I did it via CLI, and, and it's still there, and CLI still works. And so, uh, you know, automation is another animal, and for someone who's a CLI jockey, um, it's not the same thing, and it's a little scary for some people. And so you need the right people in place to kind of drive this next level uh, initiative we as an industry will go forward, but it's not really, I don't, I'm not going to blame anybody for it. It's just new technology is hard, especially when something, I mean, listen, CLI works. Yeah, I very much believe there's a cultural change that has to happen to, to get the automation to one start and then two take hold. Uh, at the top levels, they have to realize that automation is how you're going to achieve your strategic objectives. That's not obvious to everyone just yet. And at the, uh, at the engineering level, there's some resistance sometimes because cultural changes are hard and automation at its heart is going to result in a cultural change. How you do your job is going to change. That rubs some people the wrong way, but it's, there is a future coming and it is automated. Much like we did with routing protocols, I cannot distinguish Cisco's OSPF from Arista's OSPF from Juniper's OSPF. Unless, of course, they're using some Juniper special sauce TLV that someone else doesn't support. But the fact is, 
they're all intercommunicating. So that is both a transport and an application that have been married as a standard. At the application level, we've come up with all these transports and all these application layers, and none of them have been married. So everyone is free to do it whichever way they want. That is what's holding the industry back. Every single one of these vendors has to rewrite libraries every time a model changes, a JSON changes, a command line output changes. They shouldn't have to do that. And as someone who does automation, or if I was a vendor, I want to get information from a device the same way from every device, the same exact information. If I want an interface description, whether it's a Palo Alto firewall, a Cisco router, or a Juniper switch, I should be able to ask one question and get back exactly the same information every time. That's not what we have today. That's holding us back. If we want to be successful, we need to be able to make everybody be able to use and the tooling, right? So that means footprint needs to be small, right? So you need to be able to have very small things that you can run on your laptop, right? And then you have to have capabilities that help you in various aspects of that automation journey. I don't believe we have to make or build a finished good, but it should be easy, small, consumable, right? So the other component that is missing is a bit of orchestration. 